Hey guys, Elena at Real Excel channel and today I'm preparing a really easy vegan meal. While I'm peeling the potatoes, and yeah, I only peel a part, parts of it that are bad. I leave some skin on if it's nice, clean skin. And oh, somebody here said, sit down, sit. Because somebody here, come on, come back, come back, sit. But yes, somebody here is waiting for yummy food, and the food is not ready. Where are you? And somebody else is waiting for food as well. Yes, <laughs> she's already licking the lips. No, no, calm down, 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 down. Good girl. Who's a good girl? Yes. Okay. Sit. Stay. Yes. Because good girls listen. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. I know. Why are you circling? That's so weird, man. Come back. Sit. Sit. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Do good girls listen? Do they listen? Yes, they listen. Uh-huh. Yes, they do. Because they're good girls. Yeah. Are you waiting for potatoes? Yeah. Okay, she's impatient. And so I just wanted to mention that when you're peeling your potatoes, keep them in water to keep them from being oxidized and turning gray uh, which doesn't look very appetizing anyways it keeps them fresh until even if you cut them and you're still not ready to cook keep them in water until you are and now we're just ready to cut them up I have a really small kitchen so I am gonna they don't have to be small pieces you can just do like on the smaller potatoes. Okay, you don't want them too small, they're gonna mash up if you cook them too long. There you go, this one is okay. Beautiful. These are Yukon Gold. I absolutely love these potatoes. Hey! Hey! Did you steal that raw potato? Zina! You wanna get sick? Just put it aside. I'm starting to cook. I'm gonna add uh, Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt. Uh, pink, sorry about that. Pink Himalayan salt. Alright. Don't worry, that one has a lot of magnesium in it, so it's not as salty as table salt or sea salt. This is virgin coconut oil. It doesn't have to be cold pressed if you're, if you're cooking it, it doesn't have to be cold pressed. They're a little bit cheaper. So I'm gonna add, I don't know. A little bit there you go you want to flavor your potatoes so oh, garlic powder I do have garlic but I actually use it to ingest it raw if I'm cooking it I prefer to use powder it's quicker a lot less work and yes that's a lot of powder then I get out of the kitchen Coriander, okay. So you want to add flavor. You add herbs to your meal when you cook them. You will not have to add any sauces afterwards. It will have flavor in itself. This is smoked red pepper. You don't have to add smoked red peppers, but I do 
recommend adding either paprika. If you're okay with hot, that's okay with cayenne. You can add a little bit of cayenne. If not, sweet paprika adds a lot of flavor to your potatoes. This is my favorite, marjoram. My mother cooked with this and she added it to soups to her dinners. I grew up with marjoram, I absolutely love it. Marjoram is similar to sweet basil. It has a little bit different fragrance. And if you are gonna like it the first time, then it's gonna add a lot of flavor to your yummy meal. the chopped onion. I won't add a lot. Like I said, I have a pancreas problem, so if you do, and digestive problems, onions are not very good for that. Actually, they're really, really bad, so I don't recommend it at all. Mm. I'm just adding it for a little bit of flavor for my daughter. I'm okay with a small amount, so yep. I start cooking potatoes when they're raw, so you want to add the onions afterwards. Uh, you don't want to add it before you cook the potatoes because they will simply be too burnt at the end of cooking. Okay, oopsie, there is no onions left because my daughter, <laughs> my daughter used the onion yesterday. So we are perfectly good with that. I'm actually better with not using onions. And all you have to do is just give it a little stir once in a while. Not too often. So, as you can see, you still get the nice see this. Mmm, I love that. Okay, so you still get this, and you don't burn them. At the end, you probably want to just let them go. And at the complete end, you probably want to cover it up a little bit to finish to soften them up if you want to. Beautiful. You're gonna have a fantastic vegan meal in no time. Okay, I have turned off the heat and just covered it up. Uh, if you want them crispy, you don't want them covered, but I want them to finish cooking that way. So I'm just going to keep the cover on and they will just kind of cook in their own steam. For a really okay. easy addition of a salad to your meal, very quick. Shred your cucumber. It can be any cucumber. It can be seedless cucumber. Just a regular cucumber, you can shred those small cucumbers. If you're a pickle person, you can shred your pickles. Alright. Beautiful. See? Salad is ready and okay. I have arugula, so you have arugula. If you if you want to storage, just use one of these. I think I'm gonna go for all of it because that's the only greens that I'm gonna be eating. I'll have uh, part of the arugula, so half of the arugula for myself and the other half for my daughter. Uh, the Himalayan salt, which is healthiest salt that you can add to your meals. Pink Himalayan salt. It will make the salad very juicy. Add it just before your meal otherwise it's going to be very watery. Um, so you kind of want to add it at the time that you think. If you want it very very watery you add it right away and you're just going to have your salad kind of soaking. If not, if you want it half and half just add it before you eat. Other the potatoes. I already washed the arugula. So 
Oh yeah, I do arugula. I want to leave a little more for my daughter because she doesn't eat cucumbers, so I'm the cucumber eater. You know what? It will give juice to my potatoes. There you go. <clears throat> and I really have to increase the mineral intake because I'm very low on some of the minerals and cucumbers are fantastic. The salt, okay, the potatoes already have it, so just add it on top of your cucumber, alright? And the meal is ready. If you want to make it pretty or just add a little bit of extra spice, okay? Paprika, sweet peppers, okay? Dry it up. And this is a smoked one. I like the flavor. You can use sweet paprika only, okay? It doesn't have to be smoked. I prefer, but I don't have any left, okay? Ta da! Meal is ready. Oh, I forgot the one of my favorite ingredients avocado! I have made avocados a part of my daily diet because I don't... Today was the only time when I actually fried something. I don't eat anything fried. I haven't for a very long time. Okay, so I add avocado for the fat intake. Your brain and your cells... Your brain actually thrives on fat so you do need the fat for a great brain function proper brain function first of all then for a really good brain function doesn't mean you have to overdo with pork fat or any animal fats you don't but for vegans it is recommended yeah, looks messy, okay, it's clean. For vegans, it is recommended to add coconut oil, uh, preferably raw, virgin. You want it cold pressed if you're not cooking it. If you're cooking it, it doesn't have to be cold pressed because it really doesn't make it really press. And it's actually cheaper to get the one that is not cold pressed. But if you want, if you want to get the yeah it looks messy but it's really good okay so mix it up okay mix it up if you want the potatoes to show you can also use avocados for your sandwiches Sorry, I'm turning it off because I have to eat now. Thank you for watching Real Excel Health. Striving to be healthy has become one of the most important tasks in my life. Over the years, I have learned a lot about nutrition and I'm here to share it with you. Feel free to check out my other videos. May vibrant health always be with you.